Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Quan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raid Spoon Specialist account. Every 75 raids I can go for one of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 soul raids. Please enjoy the series. Perfect. What? No way! How is this even happening? I'm gonna have to call Jagex. I need to see what they did to this account, man. Seriously. Alright, well, good luck for the spin, boys. Woo! We're fine. Back-to-back -back arcanes. Well, not, not a back-to-back, -back, but yeah. We got an arcane earlier today, and I get an arcane again. Hell yeah. I think arcane's winning now, right? Let me see. Holy shit, Arcane just made the comeback of a lifetime, dude. Dex was winning a while ago, it was at 6-5, and now it's 6-7, uh, so. Oh, there we go. We're back on. I guess this raid wasn't so bad. I totally, uh... Did a raid without a Jody room, but I still managed to get 31k points. I think it's worthwhile because less scouting for 31k points is still pretty good. Oh my god, can I one face this? Oh my god. Please kill it. Holy shit, I just know Envil this Tecton with a freaking Sammy Hosta. Oh, and a purple too. What the hell? Holy shit, this no Envil Tecton raid. Got me like my second or third fastest time on here. And a purple? Okay, dude. Here we go, boys. Oh, baby. Arcane Prayer Scroll. Let's get it. I just love seeing these like Prayer Scrolls actually being uh, kind of even. You know, it's like a fight between them. Holy shit, the Arcane is back on top, dude. It's always been such a close match. I just want to see this phenomenon keep going the whole way through, dude. You know what they should have here? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I never saw that search option, dude. Holy hell. This changes everything, dude. Yikes. I don't even know if I can finish this anymore, dude. I only have 83 charges. Ah, I was supposed to charge my freaking trident and I forgot to do that. Okay, I, I think I can still do this. I have um, 25 charges. 3 charges. Yikes. I think I'm out of charges. This is it. It's time for plan B. I am going to run the mage hand with a Dragon Hunter crossbow. Let's see how this works. I wish I had 10 more charges. Ah, dude. Do you know how BS that is, dude? Yes! Okay, I'm just gonna bro dude. What is that lag? Come on, dude. Now it's not the time to lag. Holy shit! We're about to do it. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit! I think I've outdone myself today. <laughs> what a fitting way to end uh, the the last raid before I can grind for the uh, tormented. God, that sucked, dude. Okay. Well, I know for a fact that 80 charges is not enough to finish uh, the entirety of Ohm. I was, uh, I think, off by like, honestly, 20, 30 charges. So, yeah. I need like 120 charges just to be safe. Jesus. Quickly, before this guy sees me. Ah, oh, great, he sees me. I think in this situation, it's just not worth overloading if he catches me like that. So, a few episodes ago, I talked about how the Ancestral Top was a core component I needed to make the switch out of Void, but alongside an Ancestral piece that was top to bottom, I also needed something else, and that was specifically the Tormented Bracelet. 
So now we're at the point where once we get this torrent to bracelet, we're gonna make the switch out of void. So in this episode, I hope to show you the transformation. I'm very excited. So to get the torrent to bracelet, of course, we already got the crafting level uh, last episode. So it's now time to get the Zenite needed to create the torrent to bracelet. So we are back at the Mono Gorillas. And yeah, let's see how long it takes. We're going for our second Zenite at the moment. Okay, I think this is gonna be my setup for Demonics. Maybe some slight changes, but yeah, just to avoid since I'm not gonna bother going to their task. Too annoying to look for them through a task. So Art Light switch into Blowpipe switch for range and melee. Light frame. Rip. I'm mocking this shit. Oh, there it is. The 98 strain. Hell yeah. That should help me sustain some max hits here. Always nice to get some strength levels. Well, I guess 98 strength is probably uh, going to be my next 99. Seriously. Light frame again? Alright, that's going straight to the outpile. Redwood tree seed. Holy crap. That's insane. Light frame again? Holy shit. That's my third life frame in two goddamn days, bro. Restrain yourselves. Oh shit. Oops, I didn't have my finger on. Oh my god, a heavy frame, dude. Okay. I'm not sure if I want to out this one. Because I've out all the other frames, but uh, I might just keep this one, you know? Please heal. Dude, this Pegasian's actually helped a lot. Holy crap. Swapping from Pegasians to Primordials. The Blowpipe Specs actually really crucial for these trips. So the Pegasian, the 12 range bonus actually. It's making an insane impact. Oh, another heavy frame! Oh my god, dude. What's with me in heavy frame? This one's going to the Alpin, though, just saying. <laughs> one is more than enough. What? Oh my god, I just got f one take, dude. Yikes, dude. Second one for the day, guys. Please? Ah, bloody Oh, Armadale page 2. That's, that's pretty interesting. Nice. New page, I guess. Oh my god, it already happened. Let's get it. Ah, oh, nice. We got the Zen already. Day number four. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Let's get it. I don't have a teleport with me. Yes! Alright, well, you're probably wondering how many kills it took. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. Alright, if I'm gonna guess before I check this out, I'm gonna guess 600. Alright. 667. Nice, dude. It's my cat, though. But I have two. Oh, what the freak? How do I have two Wily Cats? What? Whoa, 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 what? I, I never had two wally cats. I'm not. Okay, guys, I'm not dreaming, right? Like, seriously? What in the world happened? So, I guess it's possible to have two, but I don't recall growing two of these. Oh, but plus one, yes. Holy shit. That's awesome, only three tries, man. Always lucky, dude. Always freaking lucky. Ho ho ho. Alright, it is time to get my second Sena equipment. Ah, oh, yes. We are transforming. We are molting from our chrysalis. What? But yeah, man, let me be right back. I'm gonna show you guys my new setup. It's gonna be a work in progress, though. Alright, let's go through with a full uh, philosophical breakdown of, you know, why I chose some of the things I did. Okay, so no void means that I gotta replace my melee armor, my range armor, and my magic armor, right? So for the magic side, let's just go with the magic side, because this is what started it all, you know? This is my mage setup. It's really good. The 19% damage I talked about, this is where that extra 2 damage is gonna come from. I'm gonna be hitting like 45s, I think instead of like 42 or 3 
So this is huge. So this is a straight upgrade in the mage department. Flat out. Now on the melee side though, I'm not really upgrading too much offensively. Um, I think this setup compared with Void is about the same. Minus maybe I'll be slightly less accurate with the Warhammer specs. But um, I do have this added bonus of easier tanking. So when I'm melee um, or tanking Meteor Down Room or Ohm Hand or something, this will be a bit more easier to tank the auto attacks because I'm not flicking the shield or anything because I don't have any tank shields anymore. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Range is probably the one that got hit the most. In rooms where. Uh, accuracy is not an issue. My void range setup was better for those, but in rooms where range accuracy is an issue, this setup will be a bit better. But I think it should be alright. I feel like range is pretty overpowered as it is. You know, the Dragon Hunter crossbow just simply carries in the own phase, so that in itself is already insane. But yeah, I do get the benefit of the mage and the melee. And eventually, once I get like Armadale and Bandos uh, into my setup, right? then it will be undoubtable, you know, that this uh, post voice switch will be perfect. It's still rough in the edges, it needs some polishing, once I get some better equipment, it will be polished. One last thing, this setup is a self-scout setup. I've been doing the past 600-700 raids all by myself, you know, no other accounts helping me. However, I'm gonna get to a point where I will be doing some speed runs, which will involve um, me finding really fast raids and pre-customizing my setup to match that rate for better times. So items like the Pegasian boots, so all the equipment that I've gotten in the past I may not be using a lot, will still be used in the future for speedrunning. 20 anvils. Thank you! Holy shit, you finally died. My god, okay. Onyx again? Why? Is, what is going on with this account, dude? <laughs> That's like the fifth onyx or sixth onyx or something. I don't even I don't even know, man. It's so weird because I don't have to really do a shield switch anymore. I used to shield flick into crystal if I'm protecting from mage for this phase, but I guess I just have to do augury the whole time now. Shield was nice just to tank some free uh, range hits, but Torax is insanely tanky, so I am I think about 250 range defense right now. Oh wow, what the crazy! I get an Onyx this raid, I get a freaking uh, purple this raid. Dude, it's insane, man. Alright, uh, there's there's a lot of work, you know. I just want to talk about this setup a bit. Switching is definitely uh, not as nice, you know, compared to Void. And um, otherwise, though, it's very similar, I would say, very similar. Not really feeling too much... Uh, damage you know missing here but uh yeah this this weight though is insane 70 70 uh, kilograms is kind of heavy though a lot more heavier than usual all right boys here we go oh my god ancestral top no all right well i got my place order in ancestral top so that's really cool oh you know what i'm a genius bro i can drop my d high too ha <laughs> ha yeah i can drop the black d high body because you know what i have a bajillion of them so if I lose this blank behind, it's okay. I have 50 of them anyways, so. Alright, so Torrents of Bracelet Unlock has been achieved here, so we gotta think about what's next. I already know what's next because in order to make my non-voice setup nicer, I really gotta spruce it up and get that Bandos, Bandos chest plate, you know. Uh real fast. That that's just key. I guess we'll just title with BCP. Yeah, 750 KC. I'm guessing this one is going to be Armadillo body, just because I don't want to be using Barrel's body for too long, so we're going to have this set in our sights in the upcoming grind. God Wars content, pretty uh, excited for that. Oh man, this raid is, this raid is so good, I think I can actually do this. Here's the catch, I have to do Fistfila without overloads. Uh, this time, you know, I have really good magic gear, 90% magic damage, so I think I can probably handle this. So let's try it, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is so nice. This is so good. Woo! Awesome, man. I finished Vespila Novelos with two restores, three brews. Beautiful. That is awesome. Now I can move on to the rest of the raid with a solid amount of supplies. 
Oh, uh, I just blasted through a Fispula start. Oh, what is that? 44? Oh, man, that was so close, man. I'm loving this setup for Vanguards, more so than my Void, mainly because I can actually do Vanguards without overloads uh, even better. Before, if I didn't have overloads, my Void Mage would just not really cut it, you know, both in damage and both in accuracy. Really not that good accuracy without the overloads because of the scaling of Void. So yes, this setup is nice for all types of Vanguards. So the Torax play body is super important for the solo raids, especially if you're self-scouting. Unless you don't have a Bandos play, then I switch to that. But for now, having a Barrows tank body is insanely good. It's ridiculous range defense. It's super helpful for Ohm, Agility Room, Mutadal, Vanguards, and maybe uh, one or other two things. But as you can see, when I'm doing the Agility Room, I'm using the Torax play body as a switch. Every time the ranger is about to attack me, I put on my Torax play body. So the damage is calculated with that insane defense in mind. That way, I just don't get hit that much. A lot of you guys are probably going to be asking, what about Torso for Soul Raids? I'll be honest with you, man. It's not that good. Alright, compared to a tank play body, trust me on this. Try a tank play body, and you will never want to go back to a Torso ever again. At least for Soul Raids. You can use it for group raids. Did I just go in there? <laughs> Yikes, dude. I wasn't sure if I got in there, but uh. Oh, wow, 2 HP. <gasps> Onyx again! <laughs> how do you. How do I keep getting Onyxes? <laughs> That's alright. Oh, wait, did I just hit a 45? I did it! <laughs> Holy shit, first rate of the day. I finally hit the 45, the max hit. Yep, it was 150 XP. Holy balls, that's awesome, man. I finally get to see it in action with this new setup, man. Wow, that's that's really satisfying. Wow, now I'm seeing these 45s. God damn. Why it took so long for me to see those? 45s for days, man. It's all above the damn bond. <laughs> what the f Seriously, why are you guys shooting goddamn firecrackers while I'm editing? Alright ladies and gentlemen, it's time for me to wrap up. We finally got ourselves out of void and that is so satisfying. Really good progress. I am very happy with this. I hope you guys are enjoying the progress as well. I hope to see you guys soon with another video in a week. However, if you do not want to wait another week, then you can definitely check out the live action version of Huaman Raid on twitch.tv slash ricecup. I do stream the actual parts of this account almost every single day around US afternoon time zones. So if that fits your bill, then I'll see you guys on the Twitch. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.